Hi Aries, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Aries, this is going to be for November 16th to the 29th, 2020. Aries, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. I'm using Tarot of Dreams for you guys. And those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Links to everything right below the video. I do additional weeklies on Facebook and Instagram. It's fun. All right, Aries. Okay. None of them flipped up. Now let's see what they were for shits and giggles. Wow, the Knight of Wands in the world you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Moving in together, traveling together. Definitely something amazing finally coming to completion. Ending a cycle, starting something new. It's exciting. Let's see how this turns out. That actually feels good. Ten of Wands, your foundation, Six of Swords, Recent Past, High Priestess, Crowning You, What You're Thinking About, Seven of Pentacles, Moving Forward, Nine of Cups, So your your central issue right now is carrying around a lot of stuff on your back, my friend. A lot of burdens, responsibilities. This is your energy. Six of Swords. I, you're definitely trying to move on, transition from all these burdens, responsibilities. Some of you are definitely trying to move on from all of this heaviness. And it does look like you're ready to go. You're you're getting ready. Or it could be someone else if it's not you. Remember, always, you know, go back either way. But getting ready to make a move. This move could be simply like a move through work. A move... To a new home. Like that did fall out before. It could be anything. Anything that you've been waiting on. Putting in a lot of time, energy and effort into something. Like waiting for something to kind of transpire. And I really feel like you're just about done with a lot of this heaviness and a lot of this crap weighing on you, having to wait. You know, by the end of the second week, you're going to really, Nine of Cups, you're going to be really happy here. You know, I feel like the moves that Aries is working on, and this could literally be a residential move. The Six of Swords is here, what fell out before, it could even be a short trip for some of you with those other two cards. And I do feel like it is going to bring about very happy, exciting results for you. I really do. All right, let's clarify. But I want a different deck for you, I think. I do. I'm going to use the Tarot Made Easy. to the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for Aries. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, the star reversed. Wow, both wish cards. You know, the reason why it's reversed is because it hasn't happened yet. Like the world. You haven't completed that cycle yet. It hasn't happened yet. This could be depression, anxiety. But I don't feel like you need to worry about anything. You are definitely going to get what you need. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, too many here. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. Knight of Cups. A love offer, proposal, an opportunity. This could definitely be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with water in their chart, back and forth. It could be a situation where this could be like a work offer. I'm going to get another one there. Okay. Okay, the King of Pentacles reversed. You definitely, some of you are, are waiting on an earth sign. Definitely. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. The High Priest. Oh my God, the High Priestess again? You have it twice. I feel like this is something that you are not aware of yet. You really aren't. You have no idea about this. Or they don't. If there is a move coming or news coming, information coming, you're not aware of it. If you're single, there's someone coming in to propose something to you, like an offer of love, whatever. Let me see the Nine of Cups one more time, please, Spirit. Okay, you have Aquarius, you have Leo here with, with the Strength card. I mean, this is beautiful. Beautiful energy, having passion, lust for life like the Knight of Wands before. Just having to be patient with a project or whatever it is, whatever it is that you're completing. You're definitely at the end of a cycle here and the world, I mean, things are moving forward for you. Even in your emotional world. Six of Swords, High Priestess. This is like secret travel, a secret move. Secret moves, even where you're just not telling people your business. And it's, it, it is nobody's business. There's nothing wrong with that. Because it really is like you are being physically and intuitively led to another, to, to another place. Very, very interesting reading, but you know what? I really, really like it. Come on, I wasn't even planning on doing that. So you really have them both. And this is all emotional. Palace of Cups. Listen, this could be an Aquarius. I really do. If you're an Aries dealing with an Aquarius with Leo in their chart or vice versa. I 
They really are bringing you your hopes, wishes, dreams come true in every sense. Or this even could be a time frame for you. January. Wow. Can't, I can't even believe I decided to do that. Unbelievable. Aries, what a great reading. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Would very much appreciate that. Absolutely adore you guys. Great reading. I will see you back here soon. Take care.